Mm -hmm. Hi guys, Miss Christine here. I'm by some goats today. I got some treats for them. I'm trying to get them to come over here. Here you go. Look at this one right up by me. <laughs> come on. Yeah, I'm having fun reading with these animals. So today I got goats. I could not find a goat book in my collection, but I did find. Is your mama a llama? Uh oh, they're running away. I don't think they like, they don't want to hear about llamas. They want to hear about goats. So we got goats here and there's a couple sheep. Uh, but the sheep are scared of me, so they're running away. But the goats, they don't seem too scared. But yeah, all right, well, I'm going to read this book. Is your mama a llama? By, written by Deborah Gorino, illustrated by Stephen Kellogg. Thank you, Scholastic, for letting me read to the preschoolers and to anybody else who wants to listen. Is your mama a llama? Is your guys' goat a uh, mom a goat? Maybe there's a, no, there's not a goat in here. All right. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. Hopefully you guys can see. It's hard for me to see with the sun. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do, be, do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you are right about that. I, th I think that your mama sounds more like a... What do you think it is? See the picture? A bat! Is your mama... Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddie said. See the picture of little Freddie? She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think your mama must be a... What do you guys think? A swan! Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. What is Jane? She grazes on grass and she likes to moo. I don't think that is what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think your mama must be a cow. Moo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me, so I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a kangaroo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. What does she look like? <gasps> oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes, and fur, and you, of all people, should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama. And this is the end. See, I picked this one because I feel llamas kind of look like goats. Don't you think? All right, well, I had fun reading with the goats today, guys, and I hope you did too. I will try to find some more animals to read stories with. Have a good day and have a good weekend. Say bye to the goats. Sorry, guys, I can't find my mouth. Oh, there it is, maybe. Just shut it off. Okay, bye, guys.